Oh, look at this XP, guys. That is XP waiting to happen. See, this is the way to kill the morning horde. <laughs> Fast, easy, and a shitload of XP. Welcome back, everybody, to Raven Nurse. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is going to be a damn good episode. Yes, it is, because in this episode, we are going to make our... Uh, we're going to make a crucible. We're going to make a mechanics table. We're going to make an armorer's bench. And hopefully, by the end of this episode, we'll, we'll be able to have uh, make the 4x4. Four four. Well, they got two things of fertilizer on that. That sucks. Cheap, man. Cheap. Okay. So, um, first of all, when I went back to the uh, the town here in more kind of in the center of the map, I was considering possibly this location here. This is kind of like a log cabin. And then there, it's kind of like a hog farm. There's a bunch of hogs and stuff in here. And then there's an underground place that had a couple of uh, Gracies or Grace or whatever the hell they're called, the, the big giant demon pigs. And so I recorded all of that. I didn't talk, um, so there's no there's no um, um, monologue for me or anything like that. Um, but it's it, I did record it, and so I'm going to show that to you now because I found some really nice stuff there. Okay, so um, let's take a look at that, and then uh, we'll proceed from here. All right, so yeah, look at this pistol, you guys. Oh my goodness, this thing is a beaut. Um, so I've, I've got a silencer, a 2x scope, a magazine extender, and a full auto mod on this thing, and it is it's wonderful. Uh, so we got a really really nice weapon here, um, and I replaced the uh, the Colt 
uh, automatic that we had, which is somewhere in here. I don't know where the hell is that now. I put it back. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the Colt 911. So this does, um, you know, 42 range damage with a magazine of nine. And this one did basically does one more because those <clears throat> it, it says compare, you know, does not include the mod values. Uh, but look at the magazine size on this thing, too. Plus the fact that, you know, that we get the four mod slots. So, yeah, this is we're going to be using this sucker for sure. This will be our, basically going to be our sniping um, and pulling weapon. So cool. All right. Well, let's see here. We need to get start. Oh, the other thing, too, is I got a whole crap ton of white meat um, from killing all those pigs. So, uh, you know, I've got a bunch of eggs. I think we should make some bacon and eggs, you guys. Um, before we do that, though, what are the recipes that this has? So dried, we could make jerky with it. Fried meat, honey glazed meat, or white meat stew. Um. Hmm. I mean, we don't have the recipe for this, of course, and who knows how long it will be before we do get that recipe. Uh, same thing for the honey glazed meat. Uh, the dried jerky, though, that might be a good investment. How much salt do we have? We have 18. So, here, let's take a look at something. If we did the jerky, we could make nine pieces of jerky. Or if we did the uh, bacon and eggs, how many of those could we make? 16 of these. Um, I think we're going to go with the bacon and eggs. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, but man, if I come across another one of those places, um, we know there's a lot of white meat in that place. So yeah, definitely we'll take advantage of that. Okay. So let's, uh, yeah, let's make some bacon and eggs here. We're just going to cook all of this up. 16 pieces of bacon and eggs. That's beautiful. So it needs about three minutes. We got a little under five minutes in there. So that's good. Okay, let's take a look now at... Oh, we could still make some jerky, too. Um, we could make two. We should be able to make two, which is actually four. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's grab this leather out of here. Oh, I'm stoked, man. Oh, we, it's been such a long haul to get to this point, you know, where we can start making some more advanced stuff in the game. So, um... I'm just like really excited. So you know what? Let's do the crucible first because uh, that way we can get some steel cooking up. All right. So we're going to need forged iron, mechanicals, stone, oil, and clay. We should have a bunch of that stuff. So I don't remember how much it said. So I'm just going to grab all of that. Let's just grab all of our mechanical parts um, and grab all of our iron and what else did we need for that? Stupid zombies. Just so freaking irritating. Okay, we need 20 um, oil. There we go. Oh, man, look at that, you guys. Crucible. Oh, that is just amazing. So freaking awesome. Okay, so, um, so we put those back. Now, what else do we need? We want to make them mechanics bench or the me mechanic workbench and this is actually really cheap to make it's like really this is like an end game thing and this is all it takes i mean i'm not complaining but you know still i'm not going anywhere so shut up scary voice okay so let's grab some uh 250 iron uh we need cordage it said and what else uh wood and screws can't believe how cheap that is to make, considering how hard it is to obtain it. You know, it's almost like, I don't know. I don't know what it's like. It's just weird. Okay. Um, so mechanics bench, whoops. Mechanic workbench, that's going to take almost three minutes to make. And then uh, we can also make the armorer's bench. Uh, so this is also pretty damn cheap. I mean, goodness. Okay, so we need... Forced iron, mechanical, electrical, and polymers. So mechanical, electrical, and polymers. And uh, forged iron. Okay. Armor bench. So what are we missing? Uh, we got the 
forged iron. We got the mechanicals. Oh, there's something else here. Uh, fiber cordage, wood, and twine. Okay. Um. Whoops. Okay, here's wood. We have the fiber cordage already, and we need the twine. There we go. Armorer bench also cooking up. Okay. Now, uh, what else? Oh, uh, we need to make the blacksmith's forge, and that's what's going to allow us to make jars. Okay, so blacksmith forge is this guy. Um, assuming we make that in here as well. Blacksmith forge. Okay, so we need cobble leather, short pipe, bucket, advanced bellows, a, forge, a forging plate, casting tunnel, and fiber cordage. Okay, that's a lot of shit. So let's do this one thing at a time. 100 cobblestone. Um, I have that somewhere. Here. We'll just grab a stack of it. Okay, so that we got the cobblestone. Leather uh, is in here. Leather, 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 leather. Where is the leather? Here. Okay. Um, four iron pipes. Just grab all the pipes. Uh, a bucket. Um, all my buckets are down by the garden, so we'll just have to make another one. Um, can we do that in here, actually? Yeah. All right, so we'll make the bucket in there. Um, an advanced bellows we should also be able to make in here. So what are we missing? We need duct tape and nails to make that. Duct tape and nails. Man, those zombies are irritating. Okay, so we'll make the advanced bellows, so that's cooking up. And then um, the forging plate and the casting tunnel. I remember making those really early on. Forging. There's a casting tunnel. Let's craft that. Forging plate. Okay, what's this require? Uh, we need grass. Okay, so that's all cooking up in there. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a crucible. Hot damn. It is time to make steel like there's no tomorrow. All right, so let's, um, let's just put a whole shit ton of coal in there. All right, now what do we need to make steel? Oops. Steel. Forged steel. We need carbon. So do we just put the carbon in our inventory? Because there's no place to feed it in here. Let's grab some carbon. Oh, we have to do this in the blacksmith's forge. Okay, so why why does it have a spot for a crucible then? I don't Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Just shot our forge. I don't get it. Okay, let's grab all this stuff. We just have to wait for the casting plate. And then, uh, yeah, we're waiting for those things to finish. It'll be nice to be able to make steel and not have to, you know, go wrench street lights anymore. Okay, we should have everything to make the blacksmith forge. So can we make that in here? I'm going to go kill those zombies. I am, like, so ready to kill them. Um... We have everything, right? Oh, maybe we have to make that in here. Okay, you know what? Let's cancel or yeah, let's cancel that for a second. So I want to get the forge going. Blacksmith forge. There we go. And then we'll get requeue up the uh, armorer's bench. Iron armor repair kit. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I was, I was gonna say my game just locked up for a second. All right, what other? Is there any other kind of bench we can make? So we, we're making the armor, we're making the mechanic. We already got the 
professional or personal craft station and the workbench. The rest of those benches are actual benches that you sit your butt on. So, okay, cool. All right, we got the mechanic workbench here. Fan friggin' tastic. Where are we gonna put this guy? Uh, let's put him over here. All of this setup here is, of course, temporary because we're gonna be moving everything. Um, oh, that's cool looking. Down to our thing. Okay, so we know how to make these. Uh, so we need electricals, wires, headlights, pipes, and springs. All right, so let's see. Springs, wires, we already have electricals and pipes. Is that everything we need? Oh, and headlights. Headlights. Okay, we're still missing... Oh, we're short some mechanicals. Okay, we're going to have to go rent some cars, I think. That's the only thing I think that we're short. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Let's put this stuff back in here for now. Uh, we got to go kill those zombies before they drive me absolutely up the wall. Um, I'm just going to put the crucible in there, too. Put this stuff back in here for the moment. Okay. Um... carry all that wood with us either. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, let's go kill these Zeekers and then uh, go rent some cars. I do have my ratchet with me, right? Yeah. Alright. Man! What are you? Oh, you're like that scary clown guy. Oh, well, you're kind of a new darling. Okay, come on, everybody. Let's get all rounded up here. Get our pipe bombs on our toolbar. Everybody gather around. I have, have a story to tell you. Oh man, you are nightmarish. Ugly mofo. Ugly scary mofo. Off with your head. Do we have our nerdies on? Yes, we do. Oh, look at this XP, guys. That is XP waiting to happen. Oh, it's just beautiful. Okay, gather around. Get out. Oh, shit, you're running. Why are you running? Did I piss you off? Okay, come on. Get everybody else gathered around again. See, this is the way to kill the morning horde. <laughs> Fast, easy, and a shitload of XP. Gather around, everybody. Gather around. All right. We'll just have you and you left. Actually, I'll save my shotgun shells and durability. Okay, that takes care of them yahoos. Um, all right, let's go find some cars to wrench just so we can get some more mechanical parts. Um, there's probably oh, tight. <laughs> wow, just about blew my brains out. Um, there's probably not a lot of cars in this immediate vicinity because I've probably wrenched them all. But let's go over this direction. I think we can wrench this thing, too, that's in the middle of the road. Okay. A couple cars over this way. I don't think that's wrenchable. Seems like some of the Zeeks are making different noises than the normal noises. They're probably special. You know what? We need to go into this place before we leave this town and loot the hell out of that place. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. I don't want to do that right now, because we got, you know, we're still going to have to make like 150 steel to make the 
four by four chassis, assuming the recipe is the same, which I think it is. Well, it might not be. I don't know. We'll see. It's very unlikely that the recipe is easier than vanilla. It's probably harder. Because this is Ravenhurst, baby. I'm excited, man, to move to our new place. It's going to be awesome. We're, we're in a big city, and we have two other good-sized, you know, towns nearby and accessible via highway. And uh, we'll probably spend the whole rest of this playthrough in those areas. We may ne never come back up this way again. We'll see, though. We might. We might. You know, we were talking about several episodes ago now. See, he sounds... Oh, he's a T2-mo. Yeah, he sounds different. He has a different sound, um, which is cool, because I was talking about that, too, a while back. Here, let's try out our, our new pistol here. Whoops. There, we put him down. You too. Anyway. We were talking about the pallets, and uh, I'm uh, I'm. If you guys didn't already figure this out, I'm like way ahead of you. I'm I'm sorry. I just can't stop playing this game, <laughs> this mod. I'm having too much fun. So it is what it is. The upside to that is you guys get episodes every day. So there you go. Can't complain about that, right? Anyway, um. So anyway, we were talking about the pallets, and I said, what's the point in the pallet? Because you know, you can only put 2,000, which is only four stacks of stone in it, and it takes up the entire space of a regular storage bin. What I didn't know at the time that I said all of that is that you can actually put those pallets inside of a storage bin. Uh, and so now that I know that, now I see the benefit of doing it. But I didn't know it at the time. Oh, shit, no stamina. I didn't know that at the time that I had said that. So, so. There. Lead out. Bleed out, boys. Bleed out. Another one? You guys are just relentless. Okay. How many mechanical parts do we have? We've got 33. That's enough to finish up. Um, so, yeah, let's head back. So, um, I'm not sure how exactly how we put the pallets in there. I guess we can pick them up like we would pick up you know, like the workbench or something, maybe? We'll have to we'll have to look at that. Because I, I did leave that one pallet that I made down. Uh, you were also telling me that I can put the whole entire pallet inside of the forge, you know, to smelt it. Which, again, I, I definitely see the advantage of that. I just did not know that, you know, we were able to do those sorts of things uh, when I made that, uh, said those things in that episode a long time ago. So, there you go. I've been enlightened. Um, all right, so we've got the blacksmith's forge, and we've got the armorer's bench. So let's put the armorer's bench over here for now, all temporary again, like I said. And so basically this is how we make armor, right? Okay. Well, we can make blue level iron armor. That's not bad, actually. Um, can we make... Firefighter's helmet. We can't make steel armor. That's not open. But this is good that we can make, you know, blue level iron armor. Um, what are we wearing? We got steel leg and steel boots, but we're and we got purple iron there. So really, it would it would just be these two pieces that we might want to consider changing. Okay, let's make the accessories. Okay, so the chassis is going to need the, the usual 150 forged steel, but we're also going to need these weird pieces that aren't in vanilla. 
Oh, like a lot of them. Okay, here's the thing. I've got a crowbar. It's not a very good one, and it's not very durable. What what can we use? To, well, we can't repair it because it's under 100. But can I make a crowbar with this new blacksmith's forge? How big is this? Ooh, it's kind of big. Um, I want to kind of keep it over here. I guess we'll just put it put it there. Can I make a crowbar in this thing? I can't. Shit. Okay. So um tungsten arrowheads, nice. Alright, well here. Let's get the steel going. Um, and I—I I mean, I—I I guess what I'm trying to say here is that I hope that this crowbar will last long enough for us to get those parts. That's—that's that's what my brain is trying to convey to you guys. But it's like firing off on all kinds of other shit at the same time. So that's why I'm like, oh, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> okay. So let's put all this stuff back in here for now and um i guess we'll put the cordage in here we'll put the food or the salt in there concrete there we can take that out put the concrete in there let's grab uh this and i'm not sure where does the calipers go does that go in here there's no tools in here would we put it in here? There's no tool slots. What's this? Huh, I don't know. I don't know where we put the calipers. There's because it doesn't have tool slots. Anyway, um let's put this here in no not that. Oh shit, what? We're on fire? From this? Wow, okay. <laughs> it's like, going, what the hell's going on? Okay, uh, let's put the uh, crucible in here. And um, I guess we just need a normal blank mold for, I'm assuming, right, uh, for the ingots. Or do we? I don't know, do we? Forged chrome. Chromium. I've never come across chromium. Quartz tungsten. Okay, so, yeah, see, we can feed carbon into here. So iron, carbon, and clay is what we need to get cooking up in this sucker. Okay, cool. So let's grab some coal. Um, let's grab, like, this coal. We're going to do carbon and clay and iron. There we go. Okay, so all the ingredients that we need for steel is uh, currently scrap carbon. Huh, interesting. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how to get these other metals because I've never found them mining, so I'm not sure how we come across them, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Look at that. We can make our first piece of forged steel. We're moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. We are moving up in the world. Okay, so I guess the next order of business now is to take this crowbar and see if we can get those parts. Um, so let's look at this again. We're going to need... I'm going to write this down um, because we, we have a very limited... You know, we have limited uses of this crowbar, essentially. Okay, so we're going to need a car... Radiator flat. We're going to need a front door flat. 
We're going to need a, a seat upright. We're going to need a fender flat. A hood flat. A back bumper upright. And then just normal vanilla stuff. Okay. Let's hope we can get this with this crowbar. Let me look one more time. So there's just no way to make a crowbar, huh? Not, not happening. Did we look already in here? I can't, I don't remember. Bro. Nope. Where did we get this? We must have gotten this, uh, you know, we must have gotten this out of loot. I don't remember where we got it. Okay, well, let's hope that it lasts long enough to get those parts. Now, the other thing, if, if it doesn't, you know, we still have the option of the motorcycle, too. Um, and that just needs the radiator flat and the car seat upright. So if we can at least get those two things, then we can make the motorcycle. So I've put a mark next to those on my notes. Uh, those are the highest priorities. Okay, well, let's go find some more cars and do the crowbar thing and see what happens. We might need to go in, into the other town to do that because I don't really think there's much left for cars. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's just go into our other town here and uh, hit some cars. At least we have a crowbar. I'm just, like I said, I hope it lasts long enough. Okay, let's try this, this truck here. We're getting some weird shit. All right, what do we have here? We've got the car fender flat. Check. We got the car hood flat. Check. Um, car front door flat. Check. You know what I didn't do? I didn't look and see what the quantity of these things were. We got an alternator and a piston and some spark plugs too. Okay. Um, can we look here? Four by four chassis. Okay, so it needs two. One of everything except for we need two of the doors and two of the seats. Okay, we're making progress, guys. We're making progress. Okay, let's keep uh, keep at it. Okay, we got two stage three cars here. Uh, I will take those. Um, I guess we'll take both of those. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we got one car seat upright. And I think we needed two of those, right? Yeah, we need two of those. We need another car front door flat. And I don't think we got anything else um, that we need. Okay. I wonder, too, should I not be taking um, stage one apart? Do you, do you not get the special parts from those? 
because um you know we have to save our crowbar it's already worn out quite a bit just from just doing those two cars okay let's do this okay we're getting a bunch of cool stuff there i'm not sure what all that is let's not let's just take this down to the first stage okay i'm not gonna do anything else with it all right we've got a car fender flat um and i think we needed two of those right did we <laughs> too bad this crowbar wasn't like 101 durability so we could repair it at least once you know Uh, okay, fender. No, nah, we didn't need two fenders, damn it. Okay. We have two car seat uprights, which we needed. Okay, so we're good to go on that. Let me uh, check that off. And then everything else that's in here. Oh, wait, what's this? Car front door flat. Okay, we needed two of those, and we have three, so that's checked off. Okay, so we need a back bumper upright and car radiator flat. We just need one of those and one of those. All right. Let's go find some more cars. Again, like I said, I'm going to stay away from stage one cars just because I don't know if we can get that stuff and I don't want to... We have to be super careful with this crowbar. Okay, this is stage two car. Yeah, we didn't get any special stuff out of that at all, which kind of sucks. I hope we can at least get the stuff for the motorcycle, or I'm going to be pissed. Because then we'll be dealing with yet another Ravenhurst roadblock. Let's stay positive. Stay positive until the crowbar breaks, man. Okay, we got a truck here. I bet you we can get some good stuff off of this guy. Let's deal with the Zikaroo. Alright, here we go. So what are we after? We're after car radiator flat and back bumper upright. Okay, so we have car hood flat, which we already have. We got the door flat. We got the seats. We got a crankshaft, but we don't need that. What's this? A carburetor? <laughs> a carburetor? That's not how you spell carburetor, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. Um. So, yeah, we didn't get what we needed. Uh, we still need radiator flat and back bumper upright. Radiator flat's going to be the most important one because uh, that's the only thing we need to make the motorcycle. Okay, so we got this old, what is this, like an old Studebaker or something? I don't give that shit. don't need that shit. I don't know. Okay, let's try it out. Really? Oh man, that sucks. We didn't get any any parts, anything other than vanilla parts on that, and we wasted more durability.
Here's a stage two car, and there's also some other kind of car there. I'll take that. Don't care about the damn sign. All right. Come on, game. Give us the stuff we need. All right. We're down to stage one. Let's try this thing over here. So, we need a car radiator flat. Did we get that? We did not. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, here. Let's put this other stuff in here, too, so we don't get encumbered. Oh, shit. Lady, I didn't know you were there. Okay, yeah, let's just put all this other stuff in here to um, save a little bit of room. We at least have to get a car radiator flat. Now, <clears throat> I thought I saw one of those in like a garage or something. Should we try to do this ambulance? Damn, we only have like maybe a couple more uses on this thing. Oh shit, that was a waste. I, I mean, I, I have no way of knowing if it's going to be staged or not. Okay. Well, let's not do any more custom cars. Let's just stick to the vanilla ones because, <clears throat> um, like I said, I don't know which ones we can do without it just disappearing after the first try, you know? Wish I could remember where I saw that flat radiator. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I want to say that it was back in our town inside the kind of old west blacksmith place that we did a couple of jobs in <clears throat> let's go back and look there because i mean i've got one maybe two more cars that i can take apart with this crowbar before it breaks And, you know, if we can at least get that flat radiator, at least we can make the motorcycle. I and mean, we'll have to wait till we find another crowbar to get the rest of it, I guess. I don't, I've never seen those things for sale at the trader, so I don't think we can buy them. All right, we're at the pawn shop here. There's a car in the back. And we might as well loot this place, too, while we're here. <clears throat> Okay, we need a car radiator flat, like, desperately. Uh, I'm not taking that shit. Here, let's see what's inside before we... Uh, where... Where the hell's my pick? How did I put it back in my inventory? Um, I didn't. Good one, OG. Alright, well... <clears throat> Guess we'll use this. Yeah, this will work. Got three Zeeks in there. Picks with me. Um, oh shit, that's locked too. <laughs> okay, we'll have to come back some other time then. Oh, should be putting these on.
Nice. Ooh, look at that. I think we'll eat that right now since our our belly's growling. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of these. Get rid of this. Do, 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 get rid of that. Uh, that's actually a nice... A lot of iron. I think we're going to keep it. I don't want to throw that much iron away. Come on, backpack upgrade. Okay, here we go, guys. We might break our crowbar on this attempt. We didn't get any special stuff. Son of a bitch. And we didn't get what we needed. This thing's going to break now. Ooh, we got a nice battery. Look at how much that sucker sells for. Just rotten luck, you guys, unless we luck out on this last one. But I think this is going to break after one or two more hits. There she goes. Well, we got a piston. <laughs> a worthless piston. Well, worthless to us right in the moment, anyways. Ah, shit. Okay, well. We almost had the motorcycle. It was almost in our reach. But it wasn't meant to be this time. Frustrated. Not gonna lie. I'm a bit frustrated right now. So I guess we have one of two choices. We stick around, we keep doing POIs, and hopefully we come across another crowbar. Um, and most likely, you know, auto parts stores, places like that, are where we're gonna find, have the best chance of finding something like that, or maybe the tool, the tool store. Or we just make the move with the mini bike, and I just have to make multiple trips. So I'm going to think about that and let you know in the next episode what the plan is. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.